<sighs> Whew. Let's get this. Well, I just got back from picking up our Christmas tree for the year, and guys, uh, I'm freaking stoked. Christmas is finally here. Anyways, that's not what's important. What is important is I want to talk about what might be my new most favorite headset. Ear clip. I don't know what to call these. I don't know what to call these things, but my new most favorite listening device to put on my ears right now. So these are the Cost KSC 75s. And I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. They they look like they are just the random stock generic headsets that used to come with like your your Walkmans and stuff like that. But like, trust me, hear me out for a second, guys. These are not what you would expect. We got a lot to unpack here, so let's get into it. The Cost KSC 75s is a set of on-ear clips costing twenty dollars here in Freedom Land. Yeah. $20 and usually cheaper than that with a frequency response of 15 hertz to 25 kilohertz and impedance at 60 ohms a 3.9 meter cable with an eighth inch mostly angled auxiliary connector now if you're familiar with my videos then you already know the drill we're gonna break down the comfort the build and the audio starting with what is the most important part to me comfort so they're designed to hook over your ears and because of that they stay in place they don't try to wiggle off they don't fall off or anything like that and the, the actual hooks themselves have a coating on it that's kind of got this softness to it it's, it's very comfortable and i i seriously seriously appreciate it now although the driver covers do remind me of those disgusting headsets i had to wear as a kid they are incredibly soft and very comfortable making it easy to wear for multiple hours now the only issue i had with these in terms of comfort is the way that they do just hook over your ears they, they kind of start to feel like they're pulling down on your ears after a bit which can become a little uncomfortable after a while. Now we're moving on to build. Build quality is hands down for me the biggest red flag when I have anything this cheap in my hands. And when I test just about any of my devices, I take them to work with me. They're wadded up, they're tossed, they're flung around, and everything like that. They, they go everywhere with me. So they get put through the ring. But even after about a full month of this, they're still holding strong. They're, they don't even have any scuffs on it. It's, it's pretty impressive. Now they are pretty much a fully plastic construction. However, the hooks are made of metal, which is nice. So you don't have to have any worries of them probably snapping off. The only thing I would be concerned about is maybe the covers. I have a feeling that they might start to wear out over time or start to kind of crackle away, but easy replacement. Now the clips themselves also are a bit of an open back design, which is going to be pretty interesting here in a minute when we talk about audio. The cable has a very nice length to it. It's nothing special. It's just your normal coated cable. It does have a gold plated connector on the end, which is pretty common. But the weird part is this angled connector here at the end. It's not a 90 degree angle it's just kind of like more of an 80 degree maybe it's very interesting i'm not mad about it I, I, it doesn't really bother me either way i don't know why they didn't just go with the normal 90 degree that everybody else does but it's out there it's interesting i i don't know i kind of like it I, I can't explain why now we're moving on to audio and to speak of audio if you hear two dogs barking in the background I'm terribly sorry. Let's break this down into my two main uses for any headset or any audio listening device, and that's music and gaming. Starting with music, and let's go ahead and get this frequency response chart pulled up right here. Mid-range is excellent, vocals are smooth and warm, and the bass actually does come through really well without being too boomy. So if you're listening to music that uses an actual bass guitar instead of something synthetic, the, the sound is gonna be very realistic. It's gonna come through extremely well until it gets to the, like, the very low bass notes then it kind of just drops off completely. But other than that though, it sounds really good. Bass comes through very nice. Nice. However, when it comes to synthetic bass, say like in Kendrick Lamar's Humble, it, it's pretty flat. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it is pretty freaking flat. It, it's really just, it just doesn't have much of a thump to it. Like it, it's just not there like you want it to be. But the high end isn't bad at all. Snares and cymbals come through without any issue. And just drums in general, honestly, sound really good. So all in all for music, it's a pleasing sound for these little guys. Now for gaming, this is a part that you really need to pay attention to. If you're if you're on the hunt for like a new gaming headset or something like that. I, I'm not even lying to you. I am not lying to you. I could not have been happier with the sound of these for gaming bass is not overly boomy it's not like way too punchy or in your face or anything like that no matter what i played if it was cinematic or if it was a shooter they they just sounded fantastic dialogue was balanced absolutely perfect and the only thing i was curious about is you know with these being an open back with these just sitting on top of your ears how well would like punchier sounds and explosions and guns and stuff like that actually sound? Would they sound good or would they sound the new way they need to be and honestly yes they do they still sound great not an extreme amount of punch but definitely there and definitely, you know, definitely a good clean sound, I would say. It's it's honestly more appreciated than any gaming headset I've ever tried. So all in all, the sound from these is much better than I could ever have expected. Now, I know graphs kind of say otherwise, but when you're wearing these and you're listening to them, I would compare these probably closest to the first gen AirPods. I, I honestly, I don't know what to say. I really don't know what to say. These, these have no right sounding this good so the biggest question here is are these worth 
picking up and who are these for? So to start with that first question, yes, yes, they are absolutely worth picking up. The biggest things with these are 20 freaking dollars. First off, I, I can promise you, you will not find a gaming headset or gaming earbuds that sound this good or better for $20. And I would even dare to say that for less than a hundred bucks, you're not going to find a gaming headset that compares to these. And trust me, I have tried a lot of them. And another thing is these require zero power to drive. You can plug these directly into your phone, you can plug them to your Xbox controller, to your Nintendo Switch, to an old ass MacBook, anything, and they're going to sound fantastic. It, it, they're so good. Okay, so who are these for? Now first, audiophiles. Yes, audiophiles. I'm calling you out. I'm gonna lay it there on the table right now. I know that I'm gonna be hated for this opinion right here. I think audiophiles can honestly find a true appreciation for the tuning and the sound of these right here. For $20, open back, clip on, on ear headphones. Even grandma backs would be impressed by these. But more importantly, I think gamers. Yes, gamers need to put these on the radar. I'm not even lying to you. Yeah, okay, so you have to sacrifice not getting a headset mic. You, you don't get a headset mic with these. But for the love of all things holy, please stop using headset mics. Just get an actual mic like this or make sure your mic actually sounds good. I heard you in your lobbies. I've heard you in the Apex lobbies. I've heard you in the Halo Infinite lobbies. Your mic sounds terrible. Do you really want to sound like this? Anyways, that's all I got. Make sure you click the links down below if you want to pick up a pair of these for yourself, your grandma, your boyfriend, your ex-girlfriend, your mother-in-law. I don't care who you buy them for, guys. Click the links down below if you want to purchase some of these. As always, likes and subs are appreciated, and we'll catch you next time. Bye!